One more piece of information about these contractile cardiac cells is reviewing the role of calcium in their ability to contract and the tension generated when they contract. So if you remember, sarcomeres are composed of thick and thin filaments. Sarcomeres are the striations that are in skeletal and, and cardiac muscle. So we need to be able to have our cardiac muscle contract by shortening um, the distance between these Z discs. And that's done by cross bridge cycling that's initiated by calcium release from the sarcoplasmic reticulum. Depolarization is going to cause calcium to be released from the sarcoplasmic reticulum. And if, as a reminder here, calcium is going to bind. So this is when calcium is released at rest, calcium is going to bind to troponin and cause the myosin heads to um, be, be freed so that the myosin heads can bind, start their cycling. So calcium is initiating the ability of cross bridges to form by um, binding to troponin, moving it out of the way. So calcium is important for initiation. Calcium levels are going to help determine contractility of our cardiac muscle. So this is the, I'm gonna draw you the relationship between tension generated in the muscle and calcium in the cytosol. And then next week we'll talk about things that are going to alter this calcium concentration so that we can alter tension generated, contractile force of the heart muscle. The, your, you may know your heart beats actually stronger um, with more force when you are exercising, not just at a faster rate. So this is here going to be a beautiful graph of relative force. So this is the tension generated by the heart muscle. And this is gonna be calcium concentration. I'm not even gonna give you units there because um, I don't want you to focus on them. So as we increase calcium concentration, what do you think is gonna to happen to force? It's gonna be pretty low here. And this would be a resting heart muscle at rest, diastole. It's gonna go up, force is gonna go up as the concentration increases, as calcium is released primarily from the sarcoplasmic reticulum. This might be kind of our normal contraction, like a typical heartbeat, but this is able to go up even higher. If we increase calcium concentration more, force can increase even more until we are gonna max out at some point. So this might be the peak at the maximal contraction. So I want you to know the, the role of calcium in determining this contraction force. And we will see this regulating calcium levels is something that the sympathetic nervous system can do um, and endocrine systems.